that these squares will help us align uh, the H bracket. You see there's a cutout here and there's this not square but rectangle here. So let's put it in place. Each uh, bracket is gonna help you really align uh, the base and the module or module and the module to keep them in the same one. So yeah, I'm gonna do just that now. So I'm gonna put in the other brackets now and make them all tight. There you have it. So we put in the H brackets in place, the different bracket here as well. This will help you with placing the conduit if you're using the conduit on this side, if your power cables are entering on this side. So we have internal conduit and you can either connect the power cables here on, on the, or on the other side. This is what you're going to use. This adapter goes right here. show you how to secure the battery to the wall because we have wall brackets there too. This is the wall bracket. Again, I'm not going to secure this onto the wall. That's why I didn't make the measurements and so forth because I'm going to disassemble this system anyways after I'm done doing this video. But nonetheless, the way it works is you take this one and so this one attaches with the same screw as these. To the battery module and this one then attaches to the wall now we have the screws and everything else included so you can attach this one to the wall okay so we're now gonna start connecting the power cables but before we're gonna connect the plugs in the bottom for communication and heat um, power lines battery heating so this is the plug for battery heating and it always goes to the bottom most battery cable the way this works is that you twist it to the left it then locks the mechanism so you can remove it and put it on and once you release uh, the pressure from this these little winglets it's in a locking place automatically in my experience if you were just to push it in this automatically switches and locks in place. Be careful to match the orientation. So you see, this is the bottom here and it will be the bottom there as well. So it doesn't go in any direction, it should be aligned. Okay. So I just put it in, it locked in place. Now, the same mechanism works for all of the uh, heating uh, power lines. But I also want to talk to you about the communication. So these are water resistant. So you don't rely on the clip of the ethernet jack here um, to secure this thing in place. You rather rely on this. It's screw you just screw this thing on and then you screw this one uh, tight enough so that it squeezes the rubber here. Here you don't have the cable coming out, on the others you will. So to make it water resistant, that, that, that is what you have to do. So let's put it in place. So I first put it in, then I screw it on, secure it in place, and to give it water resistance function, I, uh, I um, tighten this second uh, nut here. It doesn't have to be too tight, hand tight is good enough. And now let's talk the power cables. So you're gonna have two types, or actually three types of power cables. Three types of power cables meaning this. Uh, you have one cable, which is the most frequent one. It's this one, one end is positive. I'm oh, sorry, one end is negative, one end is positive and it goes um, orange to orange, right? You push it in, it locks the place, and black to black, same thing. And 
yeah, the way the mechanism works is that right here, you have this little white button. You push it in, it releases the uh, mechanism. So you can either put it on or remove it. But in any case, if you push it, it's gonna lock in place too. But when you put it in place, give it a gentle pull to make sure that it's solidly there. So the second type of cable, now these always go from battery module to battery module. To connect the battery module to the battery management module or the BMS all the way on the top, you're gonna use this cable. You see, um, these are two orange ends. So positive and positive because the battery management module connects to the battery modules in parallel, not in series. So since I have it in my hand, let's put it in place. We're gonna remove this little plastic protector. And positive goes to positive. The third type of cable is this one right here. In terms of mechanism, it's the same, but you see it's super long. It connects the negative from the top of the battery to, uh, or battery stack, battery management module, to the bottommost battery module. So you connect the BMS negative to the bottommost battery module negative. Um, but this is the, something that you're gonna do at the end because then this cable, as you see, is super long. It's gonna be in your way. You don't want that. So, you know, let's wait for now and connect it later. Meanwhile, let's continue connecting the other cables. So positive right here, negative right here. We have our communication cables. Again, same principle. We use this nut to screw it in place and so it holds the cable. And then to make it water resistant, we uh, tighten this nut, which squeezes, squeezes the rubber inside, which hugs the cable and makes it water resistant. So let's do that now. And the last but not least, the negative cable, as I said before, this goes to BMS and the bottommost battery launch. To access the communication cable ports and power cable ports on the battery, you remove these six uh, screws and then just lift this panel up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So the screws are loose, so I'm careful we remove the cover, not to drop the screws anymore because they will fall out. Otherwise. This is where you connect the battery to inverter power cables. Namely, this is your negative, this is your positive. You see red right here, black right here, right? And this is your ground. This is the ground that goes to the inverter. You also connect the battery to inverter communication cables and battery to SCP communication cables here. So if you, um, need to refer to the communications map. I'm gonna put it on the uh, screen and you can pause the video and refer to it, maybe screenshot it and so forth. But nonetheless, this is the communications. 
These are the power cables. So here's an example of putting in the um, power cable. So you just unscrew the screw in the bus bar, slide in the cable, and then make the screw tight. Give uh, the cable a general pull to make sure that it is in place, and you're going to repeat the same for the negative and the ground cables. When you're putting in the communications cables, um, you see these orange buttons, you just press in to release the mechanism, slide the cable or the ferrule through and release the button. See, now I'm pulling on it and it stays in place. Once you release that orange button, it latches onto the ferrule. Once you're done with the power cables, you just put the cover back on and screw it in place. Before putting on the covers, put on the rubber cover on the top. So it has orientation right here so let me show you. this one has the securing fins or whatever you want to call them at the very end here it's recessed inside this one goes where the power lines and power communications are and the other end obviously goes to the other side so let's do it right here it's aligned as well and Right here is where you put in the screws to secure them to, and that's it. Then you're going to put the plastic covers on. Then you're going to put on the covers, the plastic covers, right here, this one. You see that it has these legs with a clip, so you properly hold this. In, like so and you do this for all the battery modules and battery management modules before you put the final cover here on um, make sure to enable the breaker just a moment let's do this and open it and make sure that you put the breaker in the on position and that you use the power button which is right here to turn it on you press it all the way in and it latches. Before turning on the battery or enabling the breaker, make sure that the rest of the system is assembled. This is gonna be probably the last thing that you're gonna do. So make sure that the battery cables are not loose or anything and they're connected to the inverter. It is very important. Otherwise, if the positive and the negative touch each other, um, yeah, that will be a problem. So make sure to connect the power cables where they're supposed to go in the inverter. Um, be done with the rest of the system and only then you're gonna be putting on the battery. I'm just showing you how to do it. You're gonna wait for a few seconds and the green light is gonna come on indicating that it's on. 